Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we are gonna be back with another self-imposed challenge. I kinda saw that these videos kinda perform well and that m means only that uh, you kinda enjoy them so I'm back with another. You're welcome. So today we're gonna be playing a challenge submitted by a viewer that states that we are only allowed to play machine gun and spells which is already a huge handicap because machine gun on itself isn't too great in this meta and spells do not just complement that I kinda went for a compromise that cemetery will be counted as a spell but I can use it only on defense and not for offense so I uh, won't be having too easy of a task I'm gonna be playing actually a poison on uh, bomb girls because it's pretty much a free real estate. I'm gonna play another rolling steel. Honestly, why not? And steel rate, I would say, is actually a matchup that uh, that we can win. Like, it's not from the category of these matchups that are kind of unwinnable, provided I have rolling steel and I didn't. So that's gonna be a a huge blast very early on. Very unfortunate, but at the same time, I think that's gonna be. Uh, that's gonna be just entertaining for uh, for you to see me uh, coming back to this game. So we're gonna be actually behind uh, damage very early on. That's gonna be a pretty nuisance. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel right here. And yeah, he's gonna play another Fawn King. I'm gonna not actually be too satisfied from that. And actually, I don't know that interaction, but it looks like uh, a... Missile will be very neat response against uh, against my opponent's uh, Fonking. So we're gonna just keep using that. I thought the Fonking will still get a charge damage because, well, why not? But looks like it's not gonna be the case. So we're gonna just keep doing that. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel here to stop my Fonking from the uh, charge. I'm gonna play a Cyclone here to prevent all the damage and right now my opponent will be having a very healthy machine gun on his tower And to double down on that we're gonna be playing another machine gun on the opposite side Hope to get some damage. Unfortunately, it was mainly a distraction for our uh, First machine gun that was very important and I think we've done a very great job because right now this game is way closer than it's ever supposed to be We're gonna be playing rolling steel here. I'm gonna play another rolling steel there's no reason not to. I'm gonna play Cyclone right here with this timing so that all phones are going for a... Oh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be... That's gonna be tough. Oh, that's gonna be tough. So yeah, we're gonna unfortunately lose the first game. I thought that Fawn King will go for a Footman. And if that was the case, I think we would have still had a chance. But unfortunately, the game ends short, so... The try for a comeback was there and I definitely saw it happening, but we kind of misplayed it and we're gonna be going uh, down in game number one. Like I said, this is gonna be another very difficult challenge, so I don't expect to win every single game, but every win will be very uh, kindly welcome. So yeah, let's jump to the game number two. And it looks like we're gonna be playing against Smoke again, so uh, <laughs> this is pretty much the scenario. <laughs> I didn't want to happen <coughs> because if my opponent knows my gimmick it's be gonna be very easy for him to pretty much exploit it so I'm gonna just play some uh, standard plays nothing too out of the ordinary right now and I'm gonna right now just pull out the cemetery because that's the card I didn't play in a recent game because I frankly forgot about its existence and right now I'm gonna just uh, be able to hold this push. He went very aggressive and actually Cemetery was a very nice option which I definitely should have used in the previous game. I kinda just forgot about it and that was a great mistake. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel right here and so far we are perfect on our place and that's gonna be pretty much our uh, uh, very cool milestone to see. I'm gonna be playing uh, machine gun soon, but first I'll have to wait for his phone king to appear because I would uh, love to not play my uh, stuff into the phone king. That should be very self-explanatory. 
it's gonna be going with a small push which i frankly will allow it there's no reason why should i um just desperately try to block it i'm gonna go for a cemetery just to block his uh, phone king there we go and try to get some value with machine gun unfortunately we won't be getting anything and he's gonna be getting a very fabulous trade for him hmm. we're gonna be obviously going for rolling steel on this bunker i'm gonna go for uh, the uh, cyclone timing once again to activate the viking tower as well as prevent all the damage from our tower so that's gonna be a very cool thing to see and we're back into the uh, mirror so basically for this matchup my plan is to play a machine gun and then mirror it like you've seen in the previous game it's gonna be pretty much uh, the same thing and uh, the reason is uh, because okay i really love to not miss that okay i didn't miss that thank god so basically what we are gonna uh, trying to do is uh, set up two machine guns uh, so that my opponent can only uh, use a poison on one so Right? He's getting very aggressive and fortunately for him, unfortunately for us, it's gonna be a very good timing because I didn't have a footman keg to defend us. So we have to, we had to overexpand on that, uh, overspend on that. I'm gonna play a rolling steel, there's not a biggie. I'm gonna play machine gun and since now uh, we are uh, ready to go we are gonna just play another machine gun and right now he's gonna be forced to defend that uh, for the uh, very obvious reason i'm gonna be playing a cyclone and footman kick and unfortunately my machine gun will receive a hit but it's gonna also lock which is even bigger of a deal for us we're gonna be playing right now cemetery to block this funky play i've said i am allowed to play a uh, cemetery uh, given the fact it's gonna be only on defense, so uh, so I don't uh, die to things like Phone King like straight away. So I'm gonna be actually playing uh, some Cyclone here. Okay, he's not gonna be. I mean, his Phone King won't be able to. Uh, uh, will be able to retarget my machine gun, but. Uh, I'm a uh, it's not gonna be a big of a trouble because we have a missile anyway. We're gonna be playing Rolling Steel, very cool thing to see. We're gonna be playing a Cemetery just to protect our uh, machine gun. And I think that's gonna absolutely conclude our game. So that's gonna be GG's, absolutely terrific. Like I've said, this matchup was definitely possible in the previous game, but we've made some oopsies and yeah. Uh, fortunately the game number two will belong to us so that's gonna be a very cool game to see and let's jump to the game number three and the game number three will be against this player who has 454 medals and will start off with a digger which is very standard opening nothing to see here he's actually throwing a freeze oh okay so so this is this guy uh, i've played this guy uh, before this video once and Mm. He actually lost to me while I was playing this exact deck, so he pretty much uh, uh, he pretty much probably already rage quit, which is pretty sad because I wanted to uh, show that game. Maybe I even will show uh, this game that I've played, but the replay. Uh, for now, we're gonna just uh, three star it, and yeah, we're gonna just jump to the replay. Why not? Alright, so we're in the replay, and this time I cannot leave nice play my finger even mm, even uh, went uh, to uh, already play an emote, but unfortunately it's gonna be only a replay, and uh, replays still don't have like emote display, so if your opponent is gonna be uh, BMing you like an absolute garbage throughout the game, it's not gonna be uh, it's gonna gonna be shown in a replay, so. In, right here, I kind of went for a, a machine gun very early because he went for a digger. Uh, so I figured that I can still get some damage, but he went for balloon. And since it was a first play, I uh, uh, didn't have enough mana to protect it. So I just played poison to amortize damage and balloon yet still uh, got one hit on my tower. So it was very bad start for me, but at this point it was just me trying to figure out what my opponent is playing and I figured that he's gonna be playing Digger and Balloon so I was already 
a sign that this matchup was winnable because obviously you can deal with uh, balloon with just missile and you can uh, activate your viking tower with uh, your opponent's digger if he's not careful and he wasn't uh, like you've seen uh, right here he played drunker so i figured that he may be going with a balloon very soon but yeah this prediction missile wasn't it i kind of was still checking my opponent um uh, uh, on whether was he like paying attention or something uh, he definitely was i played a machine gun to counter this balloon and he had to play another gunner all in all i think that was a good trade for him because i wasted a lot of time and a lot of mana uh, but at the same time i think uh, if anything it is my deck that is gonna be better in double mana because uh, he's gonna be having a very bad time stopping my machine guns mm, as well as i'm having like the all spells in the world so if he's not gonna be able to break through <laughs> it's gonna be me and unfortunately that's sometimes the reality of the situation i countered this drunker with a very bizarre combination i tried to predict his gunner and i did i even okay that was in this play so uh i predicted his gunner I uh, played a Cyclone uh, the Balloon to get it off of my tower. I think, yeah, I, I've played a, another Cyclone and a Poison here. Uh, and it was very lucky for me that I kinda uh, wanted to react to this Balloon, because if I didn't, this Freeze would have been a very huge nuisance. So he kinda get, got here a very comfortable uh, amount of damage. And as you can see, he has two times more damage uh, as I do. On his tower so it was a very huge advantage for him and i still was uh, just looking for this setup that, setup that you see right now it's gonna be a double machine gun you just set up machine gun in the center and on the one line uh, so your opponent kind of has to um, um, walk into the fire of two machine guns here i yeah i, I played cyclone and rolling steel i was uh, not about to take any more damage and right now I kinda just went for a machine gun, uh, that was a ballsy move, but it worked out because I caught uh, a, his gunner with a footman keg and my machine gun just uh, connected to the tower. I believe, yeah, I played a missile to destroy this balloon because the machine gun, after all, if your opponent doesn't have stun, it is usually better to protect your machine gun that's uh, going for a damage on the tower. So yeah, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a replay for you guys how I've won this matchup and that's why probably he has rage quit once we've met on ladder. So uh, I don't uh, show replays very often on my videos. I, frankly, I think that's the first. Frankly, I think that's the first time I'm showing the uh, replay on my uh, uh, on my video. But yeah, here we go. Enjoy it, and we're gonna. With that being said, jump to the game number four of today's video. And we're gonna be playing against Apollo, so he already calls a good game. For what reason, I certainly cannot explain, but I'm gonna just roll a rolling steel very early. I'm gonna be playing very safe so far, just mitigating the damage I'm gonna get. Nothing too shabby about that. And I think it's a good time just to wait for my opponent, uh, for, for his move pretty much. I'm gonna play poison on his tower. There's no reason not to. He's gonna be playing Piercing Archer. I think the missile will be too big of a commitment. So we're gonna just mirror the poison. Because why not? Honestly, I'm gonna play right now a Rolling Steel. And I was absolutely fabulous decision because I hit everything that he owned and more. I'm gonna be obviously in a damage deficit. I have to hold this cycle in case he wants to play a Piercing Archer. He doesn't. Very lucky for us because... Catching up to this damage would be a very tedious task, and since we only have spells, that's that's gonna be actually very very annoying. I'm gonna play a machine gun. It's a very fortunate timing that he just went for a swordsman, and kind of from the panic, uh, missed his uh, missed his bomb tower. Obviously, we're gonna just call it a luck. I'm gonna play Cemetery because I don't have un any other distraction cards. So even though we have taken a fabulous trade on the uh, right side, on the left side we had to overspend all. I think it's still a very even game. Uh, this Cemetery obviously will be cleaned up. Cemetery is not strong enough to spawn enough skeletons to then counter push and obviously uh, shred for your opponent. I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel to... Just mitigate the damage from the digger. I'm gonna play missile here, just to get some damage on my own. We're gonna see how aggressive is my opponent. I'm gonna just play footman keg, 
There's no reason not to. He's gonna be actually going for a piercing archer, maybe. Okay, he's going for a piercing archer like this, but it's not gonna work out. I hope so, at least. Okay, it's gonna work out. Now I look like a clown, but sometimes it's fine. You learn from your mistakes. He even laughs at me. That's gonna be fine, because right now we have a double mana time. We're gonna be a in a very clear. We're gonna be playing a footman kick here and footman kick here. And hopefully we're gonna get a uh, very cool machine gun set up right here. This digger will be actually doing a pretty good job at preventing me from doing so. I'm gonna play a poison because it's not too heavy of a commitment. I'm gonna right now just uh, go for this combo. Hope to get the threats eliminated and at the same time I'm gonna play my machine gun. So he, this time he's gonna be very ready with the bomb tower and uh, in the proper place. I'm gonna play missile because why not honestly. I'm gonna be playing some natural responses right now. I kind of miss the mm. the footman kick. I have to uh, kind of correct it with a machine gun. Unfortunately, I think I'll still take one shot, which is very, very unfortunate. But yeah, what what else can I do? I'm gonna play uh, this play. Yeah, that's gonna be just a very uh, tough matchup because he he just didn't uh, allow me to make my favorite setup and unfortunately with that without that I don't think the, uh, this matchup is uh, possible at all. I'm gonna get a poison here and he's gonna get a bomb tower and that's gonna be a GG because my opponent is a 1200 metal player. He plays well and unfortunately even I didn't predict this my uh, digger. So yeah, that's gonna be the GGs. I honestly don't know what could I set up. Uh, more. I think uh, I should be uh, more willing to sacrifice some damage in order to get machine guns because obviously once machine gun connects it's very hard to get rid of but at the same time piercing archer is an excellent response to a machine gun and unless you have a flying bomb in your deck but I didn't uh, you're gonna be having a very hard time uh, in dealing with that so yeah that's gonna be the game number four I'm gonna play one more game of this deck today and uh, then we're gonna just wrap the video up and here we go against a Sneak who he has zero medals and we'll be playing a Digger in a very good spot. Actually, that's the most annoying spot uh, for my challenge because it's the spot from where I cannot activate the Viking Tower. I tried. Trust me, it doesn't work. I'm gonna play Poison right now because why not to? It is very important for me to just... Uh, force uh, the responses out of my opponent so uh, they cannot have like a uh, free roaming uh, for whatever they're doing. I'm gonna play cycle here to get my uh, to get a digger out of the tower. I actually will have to also play a footman king. Very annoying hand, I would say. Usually I would love to play a poison on the devils, but he kind of waited uh, it out and uh, get an absolutely mm, fabulous interaction. So yeah. Uh, he's gonna be playing also a Bone Blasters, which I don't have a good response against, so I'll have to resort to a Poison, which still was very close. Yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna recognize the deck very early, that is gonna be actually a very good matchup for him. And obviously, huge props to him. I'll have to even play a near Cyclone, because I have really no good responses at all. I should be... Uh, I should be going with a machine gun very soon. I think once he plays his... Wow. Wow, that, that's that's actually impressive. That's actually impressive that he went for a... Uh, uh, for a split bomb blaster, so I cannot play a machine gun on either side because it's not gonna get any value. So yeah, that's gonna be actually very annoying uh, game. I don't know whether I can win that or not. I'm gonna obviously try but success rate isn't guaranteed i'm gonna play machine gun i think right now there's no reason not to obviously my opponent will probably try to catch it by any means maybe possibly okay my opponent isn't responding which is very anticlimactic way to end the video but sometimes it it just happens so yeah, we're gonna just set up two machine guns and uh it looks like my opponent isn't isn't 
Isn't gonna just respawn? I'm gonna throw a missile. Nothing. Okay. Well, that's great. <laughs> But well, that's great uh, way to end the um, challenge video. He's gonna even resign, so I believe he kinda. I, I, I actually don't know. Maybe his inter internet uh, connection ran out. I really would love to cut it out, but um, I, I kinda don't want to play with this deck uh, anymore as well because, uh, it, li like you've seen, it's very easy to just uh, stumble upon of a impossible matchup and lose on the spot. He, he even. Uh, did a very well job at this match, but unfortunately that's gonna be win for us and that's gonna wrap the video up for today. So uh, if you enjoyed watching my uh, challenge video till the end, make sure to leave your uh, next challenge ideas. Maybe I'll do it in the future. Uh, if you aren't already, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you actually can watch your uh, idea being executed in the future. And if you actually enjoy my other content, so like, uh, I don't know, uh, pushing top ladder with actually viable decks, definitely hit that red button, which which apparently says subscribe if you press it. So yeah, that's, you can try it out for yourself. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode. Obumarina.